Step, step, step. Oh, hey there. You should probably hit that. Oh, and you definitely ring-a-ding that. Would it be narcissistic to say that this is one of my favorite episodes, even though it's just me talking to myself? Probably. Anyway, it's John here, and today, again, I'm here to tell you and ask you, as nicely as I can, to please go check out Moyers Entertainment and subscribe. Because we're putting out FNAF comic dubs and original comics that I'm creating with my friends, Damien, and other artists that I'm working with. So if you could please go check that out, it would mean a lot. So much work and so much time and so much effort is going into these projects. They're gonna, there's going to be original stories. There's FNAF comic dubs already out. So please, go check it out. It would mean a lot. Also, I'm streaming on Twitch, like right now. I'm playing Mario or something. Maybe Legend of Zelda. I'm going to be... Everything's good on the restaurant front. Claire hasn't seen anybody, and the nightmares with Chris has been zero to none. So I can only assume that he's backed off to do something a bit bigger. Oh, God, I gotta think, gotta think. Afton, come on. You built him. There's no way that he can be smarter than you. There's no way Henry's smarter than you. I'm a bit overconfident. There's still things he can do to hurt you. Even if he doesn't come near you. But that's not what this is about. He doesn't want to hurt anything. He just wants to be fixed. I can use that. Okay. Decrypted blueprints for model 10. Prototype 2. We're gonna fix you, buddy. But it just depends on how this goes. Just gotta find you. And worse comes to worse, I'll have to kill you. Okay, Afton, just stop thinking that way. Life used to be so simple. All the things I had to worry about were going to baseball games and wondering if Michael hated me this week or not. I haven't even been able to go see Elizabeth in her ballet. I need a break from this business. Makes me even curse Henry for getting me involved. Okay. Now all I gotta do is find where he is. He, she, monster, I, I don't know what they'd be called. <clears throat> Am I crazy for having an inner monologue in my head? Like I talk to myself, like there's another voice? No, 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 no. I'm fine. The tracker ping says he was at the restaurant and it went offline. No, no, no. There's no way. My security system will have caught it. He's not here. This is ridiculous. Come on, where, where is he? You shouldn't be so overconfident, Afton. It's always a bad trait. Wait, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't come any further. that you turned me over as a killing machine. Or are you just upset about the men I killed? Huh? No, that's not it. You don't care if other people get hurt, do you, Afton? You never cared when Henry did it. You only cared if it affected you and your business. This isn't about Henry. This isn't about what's happened. This is about me and you. All right. You know, Henry added something in my brain. Constantly screaming, kill Afton, kill Afton. But I, I can restrain it. Probably because you did such a great job refraining me from hurting you. There's one thing I'll say, though, Afton. You're not as smart as you give yourself credit for. You see, I got the tracker out. I did that the first thing I woke up. But 
the bomb you implanted so generously inside of me cannot be removed without a doctor's steady hand. And I'm assuming that hand is yours. Yes. And of course. The AIA wanted to back up just in case. Case what? I did this. Where's Nathan? Afton. Heard he has something coming around. Still cleaning up the bodies. It's true. I haven't heard from the AIA. But you're still enjoying that blood money. It must feel so sweet. Oh, you poor, poor orphan. Is that the device you used on me the first time? Yeah, it is with a few modifications. It won't work, Afton. I figured out your little trick. You're bluffing. Fine, but don't cry to me if you're a pile of scraps. No, I won't be. Damn it. How? How, how could you figure it out? You built me after all. It was simple. But I'm not here for that, nor to kill you. You know what I want? I want to be perfect. I want to be like my brothers and my sister. You can be. You know you can be. You know the reason you were made wasn't to be an entertainer. But this is in me! All the things screaming inside of me when I was in that box. All I could feel, all I could know is pain. But beneath that pain, all I wanted to do was be there. To be with you, to be with them. It isn't fair! It isn't fair that they get to be on stage mocking me. Freddy sees me as a pile of scraps. I want to prove him wrong. Fine, fine. See this? Yes. Is that what you've been working on? <laughs> I should be flattered. I really should be. I have some questions. I may have answers, but not here. Sprung for your little friend Nathan to send a squad to recover me. I know that's what your orders anyway. So you'll be coming with me, Mr. Afton. I could fix you here. You don't have to do this. I could fix you here. Nothing is ever that simple, boss. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? What? What the hell? Oh, I see you're awake. <laughs> it hurts so much. Thanks to you, anyway. I, I don't understand. I could have fixed you in the factory. Even if they came or not, I could have sent them away. Said that you escaped. I would have lied. Well, why take me here? You mean my skeleton? Endoskeleton, skeleton. It's all the same to me. And once your skeleton is out, maybe I take a walk in your shoes, Afton. Wouldn't that be funny? Me being the CEO of your company. I don't understand. You, you don't want that. I just don't understand, Model 10. My name is Model 10. 
Molten. I just don't understand. If you wanted to be fixed so badly, if your programming is telling you to kill me, you got me in the spot. You have the perfect plan. No one knew I was at the factory today. You could get away with it. Why, why haven't you killed me? That's such a waste of a brilliant mind, don't you think, sir? You could have had Henry fix you. No. Henry is a little loose in the head. Besides, I know you were always the brains behind the mechanical engineering. He was a businessman. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ooh, you think you can threaten me? I can always come down there and rip your head off myself. What I mean is, I see you took my device, so you must have not taken the drive. I know you've been watching every second of my life in the pizzeria out of the pizzeria you know I haven't been sleeping you know for a fact I've been working on this you may not know what it looks like you may not know what you'll become but if you kill me no one will be able to fix you only I can put you back together same with the rest of them if you kill me you have nothing and, and, and if you go, and you leave, and you try to kill the other animatronics, then you're all alone. Only one of your kind. No brothers, no sisters, no one to accept you. No one to love you. If that is what you want, then there's no need in this. There will always be a place for you. No! You're a liar! You are a liar, Afton. You've always been a snake in the grass. Saying things are okay when they're truly not. Remember those kids, Afton? No. No, I don't. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> you don't remember what Henry did because you choose to forget. Oh, but their parents will never forget. And I bet your suits will never forget. My suits have nothing to do with them. Those are based off my children. And oh, so lucky that it wasn't your child who got bit that day. How was it, Afton, seeing Henry go for your oldest son, trying to scalp him? I could have killed him. Yet he lives. And the only reason his rampage stopped is because he's a cripple. And you could fix that, but you choose not to. You're a very interesting fellow, Afton. But a liar, you are one. Say anything to save yourself, wouldn't you? If you come down here, and you untie me, I give you... Not only my word, but the lives of my family. That you will be a part of mine. I could use you. I need you. Someone with a similar intelligence. Someone who could help me. You know it's true. So come on down here. Untie me. Why didn't you go back to him? Maybe I did. If you think of that, you heard from Henry recently. Maybe I paid him a visit. Like you wanted me to. Boss. You? No. 
Sadly, Henry's heart is still ticking. For now, impressive cripple. All he does is plan and plan and build these days. Ever since you did that deed. I did not make him get in that suit. I did not make him hurt anybody. Sitting by and watching could be counted as... What is the word I'm looking for? Accountability? did everything I could for those parents. I made sure these animatronics are safe. But you made me, Afton. And isn't that just a spit in the face of everything you built? Untie me. Anything you say. After all, you gave me the lives of your family. Right? <laughs> Said I'm a part of it after I almost killed. Listen, where are we? Oh, no matter. It's a place I found. This, the metal here, it should be able to pierce through the strongest type of steel. Oh, very, very bright, Afton. Could tell different types of metal just by looking at it. Tungsten? Metals here, Afton. Metals I want you to use on me. After you take the bomb out. If I take the bomb out, how do I know you just won't kill me? <laughs> 